the levels that he's got still to go, you know. In football, we're always looking for, you know, the the pretenders to the throne for, uh, you know, Messi's Ronaldo and Messi. Obviously, they're coming to the end of their career. And, and you know, everyone's always been talking about Kylian Mbappe since he burst onto the scene as a teenager with Monaco. Erling Haaland as well has that kind of, that same feeling that he's world-class. But in Bukai Saka, and look, you, you know, we're not getting carried away here. Yes, it was, uh, you know, a hat-trick against North Macedonia, but that is, you know... It, it isn't that game alone that's making you think that Saka can exist in this world-class quality, is it? You know, it's what he's done, as we said there for Arsenal. How he's bounced back to disappointments as well. Because that's always probably the even greater sign of a great player is is what's upstairs, their mentality. And, and Gareth Southgate spoke about it after the game last night. The maturity that he has for Bukayo Saka, oh, sorry, that Bukayo Saka has in his locker as well. That for a 21-year-old, you kind of forget that at times that he's so young because he shows this great maturity. So should we be putting him in this conversation perhaps to be you know not just England's best player of his generation but potentially among peers across Europe and across the world one of the best players that we're going to see for the next 10-15 years you mentioned his mentality and one of the uh, moments it, it wasn't even in a victory for us one of the moments last season that I thought okay uh was was when he put away his penalty against City I know they lost that game but it's a guy who could easily have been scarred by by the penalty against Italy um, could easily have had the, the occasion kind of overcome him and there's just absolutely no sign of any of that happening with him um, I think the question that people will be asking at this point and I think it's fair to ask is what does he do in Champions League that's that's where he hasn't been tested yet but you know as I was saying this is a guy who has answered every question so far there's nothing for us to think oh he's going to something hit a wall when, when he has this kind of competition he's done it against the best teams in England you can do it against the best teams in Europe. And I think, yeah, I think maybe look at what Mbappe has done so far, look at what Haaland's done so far and think, okay, Saka's not there yet, but there's, you know, he's got everything in his game to, to suggest to us that there is a higher level in what he can do. So like, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what he does in Europe this season, above all else, yeah. 